one. So today I want to talk about leading off of a base, whether that's first, second, third, whatever it is. Um, this really applies to first base, but I'm going to use this as my plate. Yes, I know it's a home plate, but let's pretend it is first base. So I'm going to talk about two things with leading off. The first thing is, now they've done a little bit of research on this and shown that this is technically a little bit quicker, but the way that I always teach my students to lead off is in a track start stance off the front of the bag, okay? So that you can get a good timing and explosion here, okay? And it helps that timing a little bit better and helps you get off a split second quicker than coming here and have to time here, then we're off the bat, okay? So you can do the rocker stance, it's a little bit of a preference thing, but the second thing that I think is really, really important, especially if you're a quicker runner, is how we lead off the bag in our body position when we're leading off the bag. And so what I mean by this is a lot of times you will see girls who they are leading off the bag, taking those steps, and then it's here, okay? Chest facing the catcher completely forward and they've stopped their momentum. So the thing that I don't like about that is when you're in this position and you've stopped your momentum, if there's a wild pitch or someone hits a good ball, the hair at the plate hits a good ball, you're here, okay? And you have to start that momentum up again and go from this position back to getting into that running position, okay? And a lot of times we see this girl stand up to get back down into that running position, which is all taking precious time. So what I, again, tell my part of leading off the base is that when we lead off and take those steps, we should be stopping if we are stopping. Now some people time it good enough to where they're not really stopped, they're just kind of shuffling those feet, but we're still in that running position, okay? So that if ball gets by, if the ball gets hit, instead of having to go from here to oh, here, okay, we're able to start like this and be watching and just take off in that running position. And the question I've been asked about that is, well, what if you're in this position and it's harder to get back to the bag? Now, the only thing I would say about that is, first off, know your catcher. Do they throw down enough, a lot to first? Are they going to try to pick you off? Know how far you can get off is the first thing, okay? But you should be in a position when you're getting three, four strides off to where even if you're in this position, okay, whatever running position you're in when you get off, you should be able to pivot and dive back, okay? So in that situation then, the farthest you should be off is a pivot and your body length dive back, which still allows you to get pretty far off the bag, okay? So athletes, I'd really suggest when you're running off that base, okay, you're getting that lead to stay in this good position here so that you can sprint to the other base, okay? Or you can pivot and dive back quickly. 